Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading uh, for Cancer. What are your blocks and challenges in finding love? You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for July 2022. So we're going to take a look to see what your blocks and challenges are, and we are, and then we'll finish off the read to see, uh, take a look at how you could uh, overcome them. So uh, just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So cancer, let's get started. Tell me about cancer. What are cancer's blocks and challenges in finding love? What are cancer's blocks and challenges in finding love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. And the Three of Swords and the Magician here. You know, this is an energy I feel like you're trying to hold it together. You know, the Three of Swords here, I feel like you've been hurt so much, so many times. The Wheel of Fortune, Gemini, uh, Gemini energy. I mean, it could be any of the energies, but yeah. Wow. You've been hurt over and over and over and over and over again. It seems like this is a pattern here. You know, when there's a pattern... There's some deep inner work that needs to be done here, that needs to be worked on, so this doesn't happen again. Um, let's see, let's get two more here. We have the Nine of Pentacles and Judgment. So Sagittarius energy. So, you, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys are on your own right now, doing a lot of inner work. Seems like you guys are doing, um, seems like you guys are going through like a major spiritual awakening here. So Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy, and Sagittarius energy with that uh, judgment card. Yeah, it just seems like there's an energy of you guys holding, holding it together. And it just seems like, you know, there's been a constant barrage of betrayals back to back to back to back to back when it comes to romantic relationships here. You know, it could be a situation that, you know, people put you in third parties or something like that, or people just completely take advantage of you. Tell me about the uh, uh, Three of Swords here. Ace of Cups, the uh, the Magician here, and a Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy. And I feel like someone here just wants to be loved. I mean, keep in mind, this is a cliche, but it does hold true that, you know, if you don't have that self-love for yourself, you know, you can't give it. You can't receive it. Yeah, you basically can't give what you don't have. You can't receive it back, you know, if you don't have that for yourself. Uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Wheel of Fortune here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? There could be some childhood trauma here. And the Five of Wands. You know, I feel like someone here is fighting what's meant to be changed or just that someone here doesn't want to do the work or something like that. Or it could be too hard. But the awakening is happening. So, you know, that's a good sign. That's a good start. You know, the awakening is an agent of change, yeah? Tell me about the Ten of Swords here. With the Sun, Leo energy. So this is really being illuminated in your life. It seems like there's a lack of happiness, maybe ha a lack of happiness with oneself. Yeah? Leo energy with a sun card. Tell me about the sun. Nine of pentacles here. We have the knight of wands. And the judgment card and six of wands. No, Mila. Okay, so... You know, I'm feeling like there's an energy of running from what you have to do here. There's an energy of fearing facing this. But 
you know, sometimes when I see that six of wands, you know, sometimes, you know, that's an energy of sort of like pretending like nothing's going on. Yeah, for me. It depends on the reading, though. But yeah, there's an energy of pretending, even though it seems like there's some sort of awareness surrounding this here. Um, how can, how can um, cancer overcome their blocks and challenges like when it comes to love? How can cancer overcome their blocks and challenges when it comes to love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2022. Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups. All right, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio, and the Eight of Swords. It's like there's a tower that's right in front of you, or the tower is crumbling, crumbling right in front of you, but there's an energy of not wanting to see it. You know, sometimes we have to go through this, like, really dark period in our life to really get to that light, to get to that happiness that you're looking for. Yeah, and I feel like somebody here is just trying to completely avoid it. Yeah? Um, we have the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Five of Pentacles here. So this could be someone that you've been dealing with here that you've been thinking about. Maybe it's an air sign. You know, there could be, you know, an energy of really focusing on yourself right now, too. But it's kind of like the energy kind of goes back and forth. It's like one moment I could do it, the next moment I can't. One moment I could do it, the next moment I can't. Uh, but, you know, that's okay because that's a part of your journey. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about the Ace of Wands here. Why is the Ace of Wands here? With the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Emperor, your Aries energy. No, I feel like you are trying to step up to the plate here. Yeah. I feel like you're trying to go for what you want, you know, but this is within yourself here. You know, I feel like you're, you're, you know, perhaps, you know, for a long time, you could have been in this energy of looking for other people to heal your pain and heal your trauma, but you could be realizing that you need to do this on your own, which I feel like you're doing here. Tell me about the tower. Aries, Sag, uh, Leo, Sagittarius with the Queen of Wands, Aries energy with the uh, Emperor here, the Five of Cups. You know, I feel like someone here does not want to deal with this tower. Someone here does not want to really, you know, take a, really take stock and take inventory. Or someone here is having a hard time doing that. Tell me about this uh, um, Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Why is this Eight of Swords here? We have the Lovers. So I feel like someone here is obsessed with being in love. I feel like that could be a thing here. Yeah, someone here could be in this energy of like like rushing into relationships and stuff like that. You know, these messages are not really meant to be cross-watched or reversed, but if you want to do so, you could feel free to do so. I mean, maybe you know someone that's going through this. Yeah. Or that you you were dealing with someone who's like this. Tell me about the King of Swords. You know, the devil's not here, but, I, you know, I feel like someone here is constantly has love on their mind or something like that or that you could be th thinking about a connection or that you're still thinking about all these you know prior uh betrayals or prior endings that happened here we have the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo tell me about this uh, five of pentacles here in the strength card yeah so i feel like you know the most important thing is to you know, basically have the courage to face your fears here and overcome. We have the Emperor to the Empress here. Interesting. Could be dealing with the soulmate here at some point. There's someone here that you still could be thinking of, but I feel like you're going through like a major spiritual awakening or something like that. 
And yeah, it seems like the universe could be stepping in, trying to like shake shake things up and nudge you to do something here. Okay, so um, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.